Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Tandem Rewind, and if you watched last episode, I destroyed my clutch at the track. I'm not third here anymore. Oh no, I lost something. But first, we're gonna go check out a car show put on by Whistling Diesel at a Walmart. Uh, attention, everybody's in the parking lot. You need to get in your vehicle and go home. Oh. Oh, Whistling Diesel is here. Yeah, and I don't think Walmart was ready for the commotion and the amount of people that were gonna show up to this car show. It was pretty fun to go check out, so let's jump into that first. I just hopped in my truck. Do you know who Whistling Diesel is? Yeah, we're going to that too. We have several parking lots completely full because Whistling Diesel, way over there at the Walmart. I'm sure the police are all over this at this point. People are asking like, what the hell's going on over here? Looks like we found the burnout box down here in front of the Walmart. Look at this poor man in his truck just trying to leave Walmart here. It's extremely unfortunate. He's just trying to get some groceries, you know? Got Walmart staff here trying to close and get everyone out of here because I think Walmart started all these people doing burnouts in their, their parking lot. Well, I got the transmission out today and I'm gonna show you what you should not do when you have a situation that we're looking at with the Miata, the clutch, yeah. Let's get into it. Definitely could be doing some other things on a, you know, a nice Saturday afternoon other than working on my car like I seem to be doing all the time. Well, actually no, the car's been lasting about two years, but uh, I'm a mechanic, that is what I do for a living, so spend all week in a shop and then comes the weekend you want to take some days out of the shop and you're still in the shop so hopefully all we need is the friction disc plate uh, pressure plate throw out bearings pilot bearings hopefully that is all still good uh, too far back please tell me that's the one. Oh, on the money don't scrape Hit the mailbox. Can't forget you guys over here. I know you're little, but be littler. Be extra small. What I'm hoping for is that the friction disc itself, this little baby guy, it's funny, it's funny how small this is. 
Here's the friction disc. I'm hoping that this is what has basically fallen apart inside of the clutch of my car, causing me to lose all my gears. Always disconnect your ground cable. Oh, thank you very much. And now we're to the underside of the vehicle. Well, it seems like I need to raise this up a little bit. Swing her down and you off of there. I put this heat wrap on here and I think my feet, the footwell of the car is not getting as hot as it used to. So that is a good thing. I also always like to take the bolts that I remove and just put them back a couple turns where they came out of. That way you don't have a pile of bolts. You know uh, where these bolts came from. It's a good, good habit to have. I'm really just going to try and attempt to keep this thing as is, all Mazda parts, until I start seeing really that it just can't hold up. So far with the tire and the grip and the power, I mean, two seasons, I'm also learning. So maybe I'm not pushing it hard enough. So time will tell. I'd also like to just get into a different chassis though too. Kevin, he now lives in Vegas and he does have a Corvette, which he's gonna be diving into pretty deeply for sure next season, because the season's almost over. Uh, so we'll get more content with him, but for now, you're stuck with me on the Miata stuff. I'm not the world's biggest Miata like fanboy. I do like it and I think it's super versatile. I mean, I don't hate it either. Um, but I'd, I'd love to get into a different chassis. I'm not stuck on this thing or want to stay here forever. Uh, but this thing gets, gets down and it does a good job at it. So there you have it. Here's your PPF. We've got a bunch of dust in there. That's all just friction material. So let's get that pressure plate off real quick. Here's the, oh yeah, there's some more of it down in the uh, bell housing. Everything else seems to be okay. Oh, straight down to the metal. The only problem now is Do we say screw it? Do we just run it? All right then. Oh, oh, Lanta. She a little scory. I don't have time. I don't have time to resurface this, guys. I just say screw it. I've cleaned up the bell housing here, got all the little pieces of the friction plate out. I've got a little bit of cleanup to do, obviously. Here's a view of the flywheel here. We're in pretty bad shape. We got a couple heat spots. You can see some of the friction material has glazed onto the surface here. And the actual friction material has completely come off. We are down to bare metal. So this guy here, it is my spare. You guessed right, we are gonna just throw this thing in the car. Now, if I was not creating content and I was just a guy that has a drift car, trying to repair his stuff, getting out on track, making it last, I would never ever do this. And you guys should never ever do this. But we are going to throw a new friction disc in and keep the flywheel and pressure plate and everything else as is. I'm curious to see what it's gonna be like uh, long-term. Is it gonna chatter? Is it gonna last? You know, we have one to two events for the season. If it lasts that long, do I continue to see if it'll go into the next year? My plan is we've got one or two for the season. We have here in Idaho, we get snow and we're gonna have plenty of time to where I can order new parts, get a whole new clutch kit. But for now and today, instead of getting this thing off, putting it back on the trailer, taking it home, why not just throw it in? I'm gonna make sure everything is as clean as I can, grease up all the components, get everything back in, and I guess cross our fingers to see how long does it last. Let me know down below. Do you think this is gonna last a day, a week, one event, two events?
I've got the pressure plate cleaned off. We are gonna replace the old worn out friction disc with a uh, slightly used, it is not new, it is slightly used. We have clean and greased the input shaft and where the throttle bearing will glide. I mean, that seems pretty good. Oh yeah. God, my old man sounds are just, they're getting stronger and stronger every day. See if we can get a little movement out of this guy. Come on home, baby. chatter I mean that feels pretty normal let's go so far so good I know it's ugly I know it's not correct but if it lasts me till the end of the season hey a quick drive down the street just to see what we're working with. Once again, it's not ch -ch 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 -ch, but it's also just been put in, so. I'm gonna be holding this camera while I'm driving, so it's not gonna be the best. But we can, we can get an idea here. So initial impressions after going down the street, um, I think just like a new clutch, it's still gonna have to get broken in. I did get into the boost quite a bit, maybe 16 pounds of boost and uh, enough to break the tires in the back and go sideways, but it wasn't clutch slipped, so that's a good thing. So we'll give it a little bit of time to break in, get a few miles, not too many, you know, race car. Car's back in motion. We're gonna be able to make it to the next track event. And that makes me feel pretty good. Take a look at all of this clutch material here on the ground. You know, I had made a mention in the last video when I was on the track that my clutch pedal felt it was like too tight. There was no free play before it engaged the clutch cylinder. And I did catch it and make an adjustment. You know, at the end of the video, obviously the clutch went. But I wonder if a lot of this just happened super quickly. Maybe it happened the event before last as well and you know you do a few laps where your clutch is somewhat not fully released and you get just enough slip maybe it's not a full slip it's just enough to where it's moving a little bit and that's enough to uh well cause issues so anyways cars on the trailer i think i'm gonna call it here i've had a long day i need some food definitely takes a lot longer to uh, get these little projects done when you're filming. Anyways, I'm having a blast doing it. I love it. If you've done this to your vehicle in the past, is it still running? Let me know. Thanks for sticking around and we will see you at the next track day.